Hi, I'm Alia. So some time back I got a request to do a video about how to pronounce last names in Slovenian. So, or in Slovenia. Um, so I went online and I found an... I found... okay. <laughs> and I found an article that on Wikipedia that is about Seznam najpogostejših primkov v Sloveniji. So what this means is, is a list of the most common or najpogosteje, something that appears most often, um, primkov, so primek is last name, v Sloveniji in Slovenia. Okay, so I will just start recording, so later it's going to be a bit easier when I edit the video. So, all right, let's begin, it's recording. The first one, Novak, so Novak. Then Horvat, Horvat. So I'm really pronouncing every letter right as it is, but it's just about where the stress is. So here it would be Novak, right? Not Novak. It could be, it could be. So yeah, just a quick disclaimer that it can happen, right? That someone, depending on which region they are in or they are from, that they pronounce things differently. So let's say just a guy's name, Alesh. Right, so some people might pronounce it as Alesh. So you hear the difference, right? Alesh, Alesh. If you're not sure how to pronounce any of this that we will go through now, or maybe even I won't be sure, right? So it's best that you just ask the person. I, I will just give you from the people that I know, since these are the most common ones, so most likely I do know some people with this last name. But just to be sure, it's best you just ask the person like, oh, how do I pronounce your last name? I think it should be Novak, but is it Novak? You know, it's like that. Okay, all right, so let's just begin again. So Novak, then Horvat, Kovacic, or Kovacic, again, I don't know, so it could be one of the two. So Kovacic, Kovacic, and then Kranz, so Kranz. So this one is a bit tricky since the J is there, but it's actually silent, right? So Kranz. Okay, Kranz, it just, just one syllabus actually, so Kranz, right? Kranz, even though the J is there, you do not pronounce it, Kranz. And then Zupancic, like our author, Oton Zupancic, Zupancic, all right? Potočnik, Potočnik, so Potočnik, Kovač, Kovač. Kovač is actually, um, Kovač is, um, What's it called? Oh, let me quickly just go. Um, is the one you know that user uses the hammer? Um, oh, could not because I'm on airplane mode. Okay. Um, Kovac. This would translate to ah blacksmith. Okay, yeah, I, no way I would know this word <laughs> top of my head. So blacksmith. Okay. So Kovac. You will see many of our last names kind of have this um, kind of. A hidden meaning, I guess. <laughs> so it can be quite fun. So Mlakar, Mlakar, Istok Mlakar is one of our kind of authors. Uh, he's like a singer, musician. So Mlakar, Istok Mlakar would be just a name. So Istok Mlakar, Vidmar, so Vidmar, Kos. Kos actually translates to blackbird. So Kos, Golop, or maybe Gol. Gol Golop? Golop. Golop, yeah, obviously. So Golop. Uh, Golop is a pigeon. Uh, <laughs> so we have Kos. Um, mm -hmm. So Kos and Golop. So Kos, a blackbird, and Golop, um, a pigeon. Okay, then Turk. Turk. Just like if someone's Turkish, we say Onye Turk, he's a Turk. So Turk. Kral. Again, remember with what was it? Kranz. So Kral is the same. We say Kral without the J. It's not Kralia or something. Okay, so Kral. And this means a king. Yeah, so we're actually learning words as well. So Kral would translate to a king. Božić. Okay, Božić means Christmas. Um, Božić. Božić. Okay. Okay, and then we have Koroshec. So Koroshec. Okay. Biziak or Biziak. Not sure, I think it should be Biziak. Um, but again, best that you ask the person. So if maybe you happen to meet someone, right, and their last name is Biziak or Biziak, please just ask them, okay? Maybe just say, oh, is it Biziak or is it Biziak? They will anyway be impressed that you know how to pronounce it. People tend to call me Alja, so that's fun, um, because it's Alia, 
right? Maybe I should do a video on how to pronounce each letter in the alphabet, um, in Slovenian alphabet, of course. Uh, could be fun, I don't know. Um, so we said Piziak, Zupan or Zupan again. I think it should be Zupan. Zupan. No, Zupan, yes. Zupan. Okay, Zup. And then we have Hribar. Hribar. Uh, Hrib is a hill. So Hribar. And then, so really this H, yeah? Hribar. Then Kotnik. Kotnik. Okay. Rosman. Okay. Uh, Kaučić. So Kaučić. Again, this each at the end, kind of very typical for Slovenian last names, I would say. Um, but the V is pronounced as a U, so Kaučić. Not Kaučić or something like that, but Kaučić. Okay? And then Kastelic. Kastelic. Not Kastelic or Kaste Kastelic or something like that. Kastelic. Okay? Okay, Oblak. Even though it's Oblak. <laughs> Oh god, I hope someone's last name isn't this and I'm here, <laughs> like having way too much fun. So, Oblak is a cloud, yeah, but I think it's pronounced as Oblak, so this then would be a last name. So, it's Oblak, okay, not Oblak. Again, could be, but most likely it's Oblak. So, Oblak is a cloud and Oblak would be a last name. Okay, then we have Hochevar. So, oh, I know the one girl, yeah. Hochevar. Petek. Okay, Petek means Friday, so this one is fun. Petek, then Kolar, I think I know one as well, yeah. Kolar, then Žagar, so Z, Žagar. All right, then we have Košir and Koren. It's not Koren, but Koren, okay? Klemenčić, Zajc, so ah, here you have the J, right? So Zajc, Zajc means a rabbit, actually, or um, bunny, yeah. So Zajc. Knis, Medved means a bear, so Medved, not Medved or something like that, but Medved, okay? Petric, Zupanc, 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 yeah, could be Zupanc or Zupanc, not sure, again, better you <laughs> ask. Um, then Pirc, Krovat, right before we had Horvat, now it's Krovat. So, yeah, one time I had neighbors and their last names were, one was Horvat and the other was Hrovat. That would just confuse me when I was a kid, so. So yeah, it, at times this happens, so very similar last names. Then Paulic, so Paulic, actually one painter, painter in Slovenia is actually Paulic. Kuhar, so <laughs> Kuhar means a cook, yeah, so Kuhar, that's a cool last name. Okay, and then we have Lach, Zorko. Not Zorko or something like that, right? Zorko, Tomažić, Uršić, Erjavec, so the 44 is Erjavec, Babić, Sever, Sever means nor, North, God. so Sever, Sever means North. If you follow me on Instagram, I think you would know this one, right? Because we had this kind of compass thing. So Sever, Jerman, Jerman, I think it's Jerman. Yeah, Jerman, Jerep, Jerep, oh god, Jer, Jerep, Jerep, see, just, just ask, yeah, <laughs> so, just be like, hey, is it Jerep or Jerep, you know, just as simple as that, and then Kovacevic, oh, this one has a soft C at the end, so, so, I think this one is pronounced more like, um, it's very soft, so, Kovacevic, um, it, Serbs use it, so Kovacevic. I think I still say it too strong, so Kovacevic. And then Kranz. So remember the one, I think it was like the fourth one. Kra Kranz, right? But you say Kranz. I doubt that it's Kranz. So Kranz. And then the last one that we will do today is also so Kranz. Okay. And then, yeah, all the other, there's like way too many to go through today. But yeah, this is just a quick let's say overview so yeah this each at the end is very um it's very it's very popular i don't know why on this list it's really not that much but it actually is and yeah i hope this helps you so if you meet someone with this last name you can kind of impress them that you know how to pronounce it and hopefully now you know how to properly pronounce even my name so alia right um not alja or something like that but yeah just really if 
you're not sure, best to just ask the person if it's some, I don't know, business partner or just a friend or something like that. Yeah, okay, so this was just a quick video, so not like the last one where we did grammar or really learned something, let's put it like that, right? So, but hopefully it's still useful for you. And yeah, that's it, and I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao!